everybody, my name is Owen. Today, I will be showing you the San Francisco Diocese Mission. As you saw, I, we just walked through the chapel doors, and these are where the people would sit at the pews. And this is the cauldron with holy water, and those are the donation boxes. And as we walk up the stairs, there is a Bible where the priest would stand and speak words of God. And these are the holy statues that they would pray to to give them hope and faith whenever something bad was happening. <clears throat> and as we walk down, we are going to exit the chapel. We have now exited the chapel. The pillars that you just saw would help keep the chapel stable. We just walked through the, these doors that would lead into the farm, livestock, and graveyard. At the farm, they would grow corn, wheat, barley, and rye. And these villagers would represent the farmers that would work long and hard days. For, for people at the mission to eat. And to the right, the, this is the graveyard. The villagers that are standing next to the graves represent the people who would go to the villages, cemetery, sorry, and worship their children, men, and women who have died. This is the livestock, and they had pigs, cows, sheep, and chickens. They had they also had a stream from the Dolores Lake that ran by the mission. <clears throat> As you see here at the end of the stream, there is Dolores Lake. This, this lake and stream was the source of water for Mission Dolores. people are getting water from Lake Dolores. Now this wall would protect them, they believed, from Native Americans that would come and try to attack. <clears throat> and this is the overview of my mission. And on the right is where commune houses were built for people to live and have shelter. And at the top of the mission, three bells were hung that were rung for whenever church was going to happen. And we were going to the storage room that is with the commune houses. That was the storage room. And these are the commune houses that we are entering. They had a bed, a fireplace, a chest, a sink, and lighting. 
And upstairs, there were beds and a chest that would store their clothes and food. And they're practically the same, but we're just showing you all of the commune houses. Just to show you what they looked like. In a way, they're all different. Here is the third and final commune house. Here are some interesting facts about the mission. The mission was founded on October 9, 1776 and was named for St. Francis of Assis. <clears throat> the mission was founded for Junipero Serra. There were also, there was also the Dolores Lake and Stream that ran by the mission as a source of water. In 1783, more than a decade of, in mission service at its peak, more than 215 neophytes were hosted in the mission. Around 20 years later, the population of the mission grew to an, to an, an astonishing 1,000 to 2,000 people and declining in popularity sharp, sharply in its later years to only 250 people. The, missionary ha the missionaries had many livestock that came close to 800 in counting in its peak years from 170 times the livestock. The livestock grew in many numbers reaching 20,000 in 1832. Thank you for watching. Take care.